Now, in this question, we are asked to find out what is the power consumed by the load. The circuit has an AC voltage source, an internal internal impedance of one plus two J, and a load impedance of seven plus four J. Now, we have to find out what is the reactive power. Now, there are different ways to solve this. Since it is an AC circuit, we will have reactive power and active power. First, we will find out what is the power, and then we will separate what is the reactive power and active power. Now, I will prefer to find out what is the voltage across this load and the current through the load. Say the voltage across the load is V, and in RMS, and current or the RMS current through the load is I RMS or I. Then I can find out what is the total power as V into I conjugate. Okay, this will give the total power which includes both the reactive and active part. Then we will separate what is the reactive power. Okay, first we will find out what is current. What is the current through the circuit? It will be twenty divided by what is the total resistance? That will be one plus two J plus seven plus four J, which will be eight plus six J. We can use calculator to find out its value. Uh, it will be one point six minus one point two I. Now, what is the voltage? Voltage will be this current into the impedance. That will be seven plus four J. Into one point six minus one point two J. Okay. Now we have the voltage. Now what is power? Power will be this voltage into the conjugate of this current. So first we will solve this quickly and find out what is the voltage across the load. That will be sixteen minus two J. Now we can substitute it here. That is 16 minus 2j into the conjugate of current, which will be 1.6 minus 1.2j. So this is the current. Now we need its conjugate. That means 1.6 plus 1.2j. Now solving solving this, we will get uh, the final answer as 28 plus 16j. Now we have two terms. This is the active power consumed by the load, and this will be the reactive power. This is the active power, and this is the reactive power. How we can identify it? Because with the imaginary part, we have the reactive power. Okay, the coefficient of J will be. The reactive power. So the answer is 16 volt amperes. Not volt ampere. It is volt ampere reactive. That will be 32.25.